machines that power America's progress to everyday conveniences for your home, you can put your confidence in General Electric. Fred Waring and the Pennsylvanians for General Electric. A full hour of musical enjoyment representing one of America's great industrial families and planned for your pleasure by Fred Waring. Hello, everybody, and thanks again for inviting us in. We've brought along some friends tonight, but uh, even if we crowd the living room a little bit, don't send the children to bed as yet because your extra guests are small, too, and will hardly mind sitting on the floor. Uh, you'll see, because uh, later in the show, we are forsaking the usual magic of General Electric and its wonderland of modern living for the wonderland of Alice, the March Hare, and the Mad Hatter. Yeah. Tonight, through the enthusiastic cooperation of Walt Disney and his staff, we're presenting the delightful music from the motion picture Alice in Wonderland for the first time in television, and we're introducing you to Alice herself, Kathy Beaumont, and the Cheshire Cat, Sterling Holloway, who came along to help us. Now is the time to gather the children around you because the promised moment has arrived. The premiere of the wonderful songs from Walt Disney's latest production, Alice in Wonderland. To start us off on the right foot, here now is the man who knows more about the new Alice than anybody else because he created her, Walt Disney. Hello, Fred. Well, as you can imagine, we're all steamed up out here over Alice in Wonderland. It's uh, about the greatest adventure in picture making that we've ever had. It's always a challenge bringing a great story classic to the screen, giving visual form to characters and places that have only existed in the imagination. But it's the kind of challenge we enjoy. As you know, there's been three girls in my professional life, Snow White, Cinderella, and now, Alice. And believe me, they're all different. Snow White was a kind, simple little girl who believed in wishing and waiting for her Prince Charming to come along. On the other hand, Cinderella here was more practical. She believed in dreams, all right, but she also believed in doing something about them. When the Prince Charming didn't happen to come along, she went right over to the palace and got him. And now, Alice, you know, some people say the mind of a child is more complex and curious than that of an adult. And in this case, I think it's true. Now, while the other two girls were concerned mainly with romance, little Alice here is curious about anything and everything. To me, Alice is a great deal like children today. Uh, bright, eager, curious about places and people. It's this curiosity that gets her into all those fabulous adventures in Wonderland. I think we've been able to capture that same wondering, curious, childlike quality about Alice. But here, maybe I can show you what I mean. These are some early animation sketches out of the scene where Alice meets the caterpillar. U-E-I-O-U <laughs> No, sir. I've changed so many times since this morning, you see. And... I do not see. Explain yourself. Well, I'm afraid I can't explain myself, sir, because I'm not myself, you know. I do not know. Well, I can't put it any more clearly, for it isn't clear to me. You? Who are you? Well, don't you think you ought to tell me... <coughs> <coughs> Who you are first? Well, there's a rough idea. Now, Fred, I don't want to hold the show up any longer. Catherine Beaumont, the little English girl who was the inspiration for the artists and whose voice you just heard is back there with you. And I'm looking forward to your premiere of the score from Alice in Wonderland. So I'll be seeing you. Thank you so much, Walt. You and your entire staff have been simply perfect about cooperating with us in the preparation of our
television idea of Alice and helping us with the scenery and the costumes. Mary Blair, Blair did that. And it was especially nice of you to send Alice, but uh, Alice has not yet arrived. I'm somewhat concerned about... Oh dear, oh dear, I'm late, I'm late. Oh, my fur and whiskers, I'm late. The <laughs> rabbit is here and a couple of chessmen. And Off with his head. Off with her head. Off with their heads. And the queen is here and her uh, courtier. The Dormouse is here, and a few I don't seem the to recognize. The time has come. I've always said to talk of many things. Of shoes and ships and sealing wax and cabbages and kings. Please, if you please. The walrus and the carpenter are here, and a, well, almost a hand there. When okay. I was at school, we had a master who was an old turtle. We used to call him tortoise. Now, <laughs> why did you call him the tortoise when he was not a tortoise? We used to call him tortoise because he tortoise. <laughs> please, Mad Hatter, quiet. Quiet really, all of you, Really, please. you're very dull. We very cannot dull. find Alice. Dull. We're in trouble. We cannot find... You can't find, find Alice? No, we cannot find we'll Alice. We'll find her for you. How will you find her? Shall I try for a fourth? Oh, no, 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 thank you. But I just wanted to know which way I ought to go. 
Well, that depends, doesn't it, on just where you want to get to. Oh, well, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. uh, as long as well, I... Well, then it really doesn't matter which way you go. <laughs> I have some friends who go that way, and then others go that way. But as for me, myself, personally, I always take the shortcut. Well, as long as I get somewhere... Oh, little girl, you're bound to do that. <laughs> he went that way. Who did? The white rabbit. Oh, he did? <laughs> he did what? Who went that way? Who did? The white rabbit. What rabbit? But didn't you just say, oh, I mean... Oh, oh. <laughs> t'was the brillig and the slidey tone, but he... What? In gimbal, in the wave. T can you stand on your head? Oh! <laughs> t'was brillig and the slide. I figured this out all for myself. When one is lost, I suppose it's good advice to... Well, I, I suppose it's good advice to stay where you are until someone comes for you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's good advice, but you haven't followed it, you know. If you'd only listened earlier, little girl, you wouldn't be where you are now. Yes, I suppose that's right. I give myself very good advice. But I very seldom follow it. That explains the trouble that I'm always in. Be patient is very good advice, but the waiting makes me curious. And I'd love the change should something strange begin. sure that I know right from wrong, and I have the best intentions. Life should be such a merry song, but no, not so. I give myself very good advice, but I very seldom follow. Yes, well, that was very nice. And you know, you're a very nice little girl. And if you really want to find the white rabbit, why don't you ask the Mad Hatter? The Mad Hatter? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 I, I don't want to. Well, then you could always ask the March Hare in that direction. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Of course, you know, he's mad, too. But I don't want to go among mad people. Oh, oh my dear child, you can't help that. We're all mad here. Everybody's mad. You might have noticed that I am not quite myself. It was a brillig and the slidey tone. People here are like that. I, I must try not to upset them. <laughs> Waxworks weren't made to be looked at for nothing. If you think we're waxworks, you ought to pay. Contrarywise. Thank you, Friedel Dom and Friedel D. Oh, why did they do that? This is an unbirthday present. Oh, oh I, I beg your pardon. Uh, I'm not offended. I mean, <laughs> what is an unbirthday present? An unbirthday present is a present you get when it's not your birthday. Oh, I prefer birthday presents. Silly, you don't know what you're talking about. How many days are there in a year? 365. How many birthdays do you have? One. 
Subtract one from 365, and how many are left? 364, of course. That shows you that there are 364 days to get unbirthday presents. Oh, like the gift friends. Of course. Merry birthday, little girl. party. You mean? I do. Now, I hate to be specific, but this fellow is terrific. You mean? <laughs> oh, yes, indeed, I do. This fellow is so wonderful. Let's treat him royally. A very merry unbirthday. To who? To me. <laughs> I heard the Queen say just yesterday that you ought to be beheaded. <laughs> what for? Oh, I don't know what for. She didn't say. Uh, mind your own business. Read your book. <laughs> oh, I'm pale. Oh, oh. Th this is all in some language I don't understand. That is in Jabberwocky. Oh. oh. May I borrow this mirror, please, for a minute? Well, if you must, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a looking last book, of course. Uh, of course. <laughs> when I put the mirror this way, the words all come the right way again. Was brilliant, and the slithy toes did Gaia and Gimble in the wave. Sounds strangely familiar. <laughs> <laughs> It ain't.
see? Oh, yes, definitely. Oh, thank you. It's a wonderful book, isn't it? Huh? Very good. Oh, it's a lovely book. I think we ought to have something about it explained. It's very bewildering to me. Well, uh, <laughs> it's not really bewildering. Oh, it isn't? Now, I tell you, we've got some sketches here. Would you oh, like to have? see them? Oh, I'd love to see sure. But before we do the sketches, would you tell me what's the meaning of brillig? Uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. Four o'clock in the afternoon. Really? It's four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> what about, uh, is it toves? Toves, yes. Well, t a, a tove is, is, is something like a badger and something like a lizard and something like a corkscrew. What about uh, a borogove? <laughs> well, a borogove is a sort of a thin, emancipated-looking bird. Emancipated. With feathers sticking out all around, kind of a live yes. mop. What about the uh, momrath? Isn't that something like a, a green pig or something? Yes, that, that's, that's the green pig. That's the rat part. The mom, I wouldn't oh. know. Oh. Did you know that uh, we're recording these uh, songs? Oh, you are? Yes, uh -huh. uh, Yes, we're making a new album for uh, Decca. Oh. oh. Decca has nothing to do with mom <laughs> rat. Or uh, now shall we talk about these... Um, uh, uh, the sketches? Things. Yeah, the sketches. Oh. Is it true that you act the scenes out uh, completely before the camera? Uh, that is, before the artists uh, have a chance, the cartoonists have a chance to do their work? Yes, that's for the inspiration of the artists. So the that inspiration? They can draw, yes. I see. Then, uh, oh, what, uh, what, uh, what do the very first sketches uh, Well, well here's, here's, uh, Oh, these are the ones you meant. Yeah, this is a very rough sketch, you Oh, see. isn't that nice? Huh? From the very beginning, the ideas that the, the uh -huh. different artists get. Uh -huh. And then from this, you see, you go to another Alice. That's a little uh -huh. more advanced, you see. I see. Isn't that isn't nice? That cute? That's you. <laughs> that's, that's our little Kathy, huh? Then mm -hmm. what happened? Then uh, the sets. You see, this is the background for yeah. the set. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that charming? This is the live action right here. Yes, the live action. The oh, we there's our about. Kathy see in that person. See, Alice, Isn't and that's that the cute? fellow who does the caterpillar. Uh -huh. And from this, from this from inspiration, this. you see, And there is the finished, uh, the the finished, finished set the drawing. Isn't that wonderful? Did you ever think you'd look like that, Kathy? Well, I, I wasn't sure, <laughs> oh, isn't it but they've really done a good job, don't you think oh, so? Oh, just a wonderful. You, of course, know uh, Sterling Holloway and Kathy Beaumont. 150 million people are very anxious to see this picture. Oh, that's yeah. easy. You did. I, uh, do you suppose it might be chance uh, for them to see uh, just a slim portion of it, maybe, before certainly, we Certainly, certainly. May I do a card trick? A card trick? Yes, please. Well, May I have the, uh, the seven of spades, please? Seven of spades. The seven of spades. Well, so it's the Jack of Diamonds. <laughs> Have you an unbirthday present for Fred Waring, please? Here you are, Fred. Oh, thank That's you for so you. much. This is a real present. Isn't it, it is a real from Alice in Wonderland. It is really a real, real. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you so much. Now, what is it? It's the dance of the cards. The dance of, of the cards. You won't see this in the beautiful color that it is because. Doesn't have color yet. But you <laughs> give us time. We'll have the color. Rush this quickly to the control room and get that on quickly, quickly so that we can see the dance of the cards. And uh, we'll we'll play the music for it. And they just show that picture. Is that the idea? Oh, Isn't this yes. wonderful? I think it's so nice. Of, uh, yackety, 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 yackety. Too much talk. Let's see the film. All right. That was it. Uh, Sterling and Alice, or shall we say Kathy and... Uh, Cheshire. Cheshire, Cheshire. <laughs> yes. Well, it doesn't matter. You're confusing no matter what happens. If the rest of the picture is as wonderful as that, I can hardly wait. One of these songs in the Alice in Wonderland score captures the whole idea of Alice in one title and one lyric. It's this song called In a World of My Own. We'd like to do it for you. <laughs>
proud to have premiered these songs from Alice in Wonderland. They have been arranged by Harry Simeon and Holly Aids, Charlie Naylor, and Keith Texture. The Mad Hatter was Lumpy Branham, the March Hare, Gordon Goodman, the Dormouse, Gloria Mudell, the Queen, Hugh Fleming, the Jabberwocky, Mark Brawl, the White Rabbit, Johnny Pedersen, uh, Tweedle Dee and Dahmer, Polly McClinic and Mike Doty, and the Boy with the Sword, Nadine Gay, the Walrus, Herman Hennig, the Carpenter, Ray Sachs, the Duchess, Betty Reynolds. Our thanks, of course, to Kathy Beaumont, Sterling Holloway, and Mary Blair, and to Walt Disney himself. Next week, we present Ringwald's Song of Easter and the First Communion. See you then. In the meantime, remember that the Red Cross needs your help. Give during March so that the Red Cross may give from January to December. Fred Waring Show was directed by Bob Banner. Assisting Fred Waring as conductor was Fred Cully. The settings by Howard Bay and Mary Blair. Choreography by Nadine Gay. The lighting by Ralph Holmes. Script by Jay Johnson. Now, this is Bill Bivens inviting you to be with us again next Sunday when General Electric again presents The Fred Waring Show. Portions of the preceding program were on motion picture film.